today. I mean, neither one of you guys are striking out a bunch of guys, and you, both defenses are really picking it up today. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice. I mean, our defense did their job well today. Uh, there weren't any errors, and uh, I wasn't getting a lot of strikeouts. So keeping the ball down, uh, getting ground balls for them, and I had a lot of fly ball outs too. Uh, so I got the outfielder some work too, and, and it felt good to be able to have a defense that can work and get outs for you. you know, those of you who are starting this year are starting the last games in this nice, big, spacious park that you get to pitch in. Do you feel like that's an advantage um, for you at all to, to get a park of this size, especially maybe today when the wind is helping you a little bit too? Yeah, it's, it's a big advantage with a park. I mean, 408 in center. Uh, and the wind blowing in a little bit, that's, you're not going to get anything out to right field. Uh, so, I mean, this park's always played big. Uh, so, I don't know, I think the, the new park's going to be about the same size, but uh, with a larger park, uh, you're going to have to have uh, good defense to, to keep balls in and uh, get guys out. So, uh, so I think it's a nice uh, big park like this. What was your approach today? What were you trying to do? Because it seemed like from the very beginning they were being pretty aggressive and going at you early in the count. But, uh, yeah, and they did. They had a very aggressive attack today. Uh, I, I didn't really go deep into many counts. Uh, and, I mean, they hit the ball hard a few times. Um, but getting ahead early with fastballs, I didn't use my curveball a whole lot today. Like last week, that was that was to my advantage. But today it was uh, just getting inside uh, and getting ahead on these guys. It was nice. I say there were a lot of first pitch strikes today. Do you feel like that was setting things up for you as well? Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, as a, as a starter, as a pitcher in general, uh, the key is to get the first guy out in the inning to get the first pitch strike, and it was huge today in today's win. But that, that combination that uh, Mascarell and Wigrin have kind of made you guys have this year, I mean, you know, Wigrin was solid already, and Mascarell was too. It seems like they've really stepped up a notch this year, and they're they're closing things down pretty, pretty well. They're doing an incredible job out of thin. I mean, Blake's been dynamite all year. Uh, I don't, I mean, I got 100% confidence in anybody coming out of the pen, but uh, those two guys have really, really done a good job. First win of the mini series. Well, it's always huge. That kind of sets the tone for the series. Um, it gives you a chance to win the series the next day, and then if you get that game, you have the opportunity for the sweep, which is always huge. So it, the first game is huge. Did you have a feeling that that at bat you had there in the eighth could be a pretty huge one? That, you know, getting that run home could be critical. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always good to scratch that extra run across at the end if you can, just to uh, you know, going into the ninth inning, giving your pitcher one extra run to work with, and you know, it just changes the whole uh, circumstances of the last inning. So always getting that one or two across late is always big for you. So when Wasis Timbay scored on uh, Joe, I mean, um, I think it's two weeks in a row. Um, from what you, you've seen, is there something he's doing? these kind of past weeks it's taken it up a notch or? I mean that's just Joe that's what Joe does he's he's done that for the last two years you know uh, he can throw any pitch for, for a strike whenever he wants to so you know he can locate he's got good stuff and you know when he's on he's on so you know he can do that on any given Friday when we play so it's you know we play with a lot of confidence behind Joe and he's just he's a great Friday night guy obviously defense is really solid behind him today and I wonder how much it helps when he's up there throwing first pitch strikes all the time didn't walk anybody that's got to make it easier on the defense oh yeah you know just sometimes challenging them, making them put in play, you know, letting our defense make plays, you know, uh, our good pitching with our defense, and, you know, when we're both clicking, it's tough, you know, we've been playing some good defense lately, and yeah, when Joe's on, he's on, and for the most part, our pitchers hardly walk anybody, so uh, not giving up free bases is huge, so they're doing a great job. Well, I mean, it, every game's important, so I mean, we did this to them last year, we came out and played a tight game and, and you know, beat them on Friday, and they got us to the next two, so... Um, you know, I mean, puts their backs up against the wall a little bit, but I mean, hopefully we don't relax and we come out ready to play you know, and, uh, and win a series. It's two weeks in a row where nobody scored off Hayes. Uh, he had a lot of help in the defense tonight, but it seems like he's obviously going pretty well. Yeah, well, I mean, what Joe Hayes did was, is, it's just outstanding. I mean, uh, you know, he's, he's keeping leadoff hitters off base. You know, the hit by pitch gave him an opportunity, and then they had to lead off double. Uh, you know, but Joe battled. Uh, he battled with with runners in, in scoring position. But I mean, really, you know, up until you know middle of the ball game, I mean, they didn't really even threaten. So uh, that's a credit to him. And I thought Kevin Pilecki called a great game as well. So I mean, those two have worked really well together. And, uh, but what Joe did is, I mean, it's just outstanding. Pilecki calls all the. Pretty much everything, or yeah, Pilecki's calling the whole game, so you know he's got a good feel. I think you know it helps the pitchers in their in their rhythm and pace. Um, and Kevin, you know, can call it from a hitter standpoint as well as knowing what uh, you know the pitcher is going to bring and what his strengths are. So, and he reads hitters and, and you know understands the zone better than we can from the dugout. So, uh, you know, 
Kevin's done a great job doing that. He's called every pitch basically since the middle of his freshman year. So, um, obviously, a strong defensive game for both teams too. I mean, they turned the two double plays in the middle innings. Without those, things could have been different. And, and you guys obviously were solid all the way through. And I wonder how much it helps when you've got a guy like Joe who's throwing first pitch strikes all the time. And, right. You know, keeping, oh, not, yeah. not giving up three bases. No, he's keeping the, de the, the defense definitely on their toes. But no, and Illinois played outstanding defensively as well. I mean, both teams hit balls right at them and, you know, moved their infielders a little bit. Um, you know, I thought we had, had more ground ball outs than they did, so we challenged their defense a little bit more. But they came up with the plays, um, you know, defensively for us. I mean, I think they had 12 fly ball outs, so, uh, you know, we didn't have to do as much. But, you know, when we, when we did, plays that we needed to do. Miller's been playing outstanding at short and, uh, and he continued that today. That can also be, you know, a, a senior pitcher who knows the park and knows the, the wind and knows he's got some fast, some, some speedy guys on the outfield. That yeah, and, and the wind's blowing in a little bit. It's going to take a little bit more maybe to get a ball out. Maybe down the left field line you got a chance, but it's a big ballpark. Um, yeah, so they, you know, uh, Joe used that to his advantage, no, no doubt. 